Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Family on a 2300 here and today it's time to become a pro because we have the new and only Beyblade Burst Pro Series Orb and Guard over here for you guys. So yes, we finally managed to find Pro Series Bay. The first thing we found was the search products and then out of nowhere in a different target that I went to, we've actually found the Pro Series. Now they did have all three of them. They had uh, Orb and Guard, they had Achilles and Valkyrie, uh, Valkyrie too as well. Uh, but I decided just to buy Orb and Guard because for a couple reasons. One, uh, this is the only bay you actually get in the Chosey set. So, you know, I think it's perfectly clear that Orb and Guard was going to probably be my choice. And then number two, because of the quest driver, right? It does have a secondary quest. This is the one that you get from the Chosey uh, set. But now we have a secondary one because I actually do love the design and everything for it. As well as the parts that it comes with. So, yeah, I think this is definitely the one to actually go for probably people have different opinions because obviously quest isn't the best but hey i like it but yeah we have orb and guard over here and it does have metal and look here too guys it does have like that takara tomi uh ripcord launcher too as well which is amazing now another thing i want to take note is just how freaking awesome this box looks like i am loving the way how they did this box here like, it have the bait in the front, of course, with the ripcord. But look at the side, too. Like, it has all the detail on how it looks. And that just looks so amazing to me. Like, I love it. Like, hold up. Let me let me take you a crash course for a sec. Like, I keep the other boxes, too. Like, look at the other boxes. Sure, it has, like, the character and just the bait itself. Right? But, like, to actually go in detail and in line with, like, the bait itself. To have it drawn on the side here. Like that. It just looks so awesome. Like, this is probably going to be a box that I'm keeping. Because, like, it looks so, so good. And I think Hasbro is actually trying to do a really great job to redeem yourself here. And if you guys want to support the Pro Series, please make sure you go buy the Pro Series. Now, just to make sure you guys know this too, the Pro Series is $20, which is kind of hefty. That's why I only brought one of them. I didn't buy uh, all three of them. I only brought one because of that reason. But I would say if you had a choice between the Slingshock, the uh, Surge, the, um, well, kind of Surge, or the Hypersphere, definitely get the Pro Series. Like, that's the one you have to support is the Pro Series so we can start making, they can start making more. Like, let's do this, guys. We can we can do that. But yeah, enough of me rambling about that. Let's actually take a look at the bay itself and the back of the box, too, as well. So obviously here, or end guard, you've been seeing it for a while. You guys look at the bo uh, the back of it. So it does have everything except the weight. So the weight right here is Sting. Uh, I believe the one that originally comes with is Outer. I think that's what you call this one. Uh, but yeah, it's... Perfectly like well represented though. I I do like how they put sting here uh, Sting is actually a pretty good part, especially like an attack combos I believe it is pretty good to use for like heavy attacks um, And it does come with a quest driver and it does come with all metal on the top two as well Which is crazy and you guys can see the stats on the side the attack burst defense is all the way up Not sure about the defense part, but hey the weight is kind of there uh, agility, which is not so great, and in Stanima, also not so great. Well, at least they're being honest with that. That is not great, because Quest isn't a good driver, but hey, it's actually pretty fun to use. And then here, as you guys can see, defense type, right, spins right, has metal on top, and in Stanima, or Stadium Traction, right there. And it says you can use in the app and everything. But yeah, this is going to be really dope, guys. I'm super excited to unbox this with you guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything out of the box. We even compare the actual Takara Tomy one with it uh, to as well. Do some test runs and we'll get started with that right now. All right. So I semi kind of took everything out of the box. Now, first things first, can you guys tell the difference between these two? Well, besides the QR code, obviously, but yeah. This is freaking crazy, guys. This one is the Hasbro one. This one's the Takara Tomy one. Look at that. Even, even this, look. This is for the grip. Can you act, are they actually going to make grips too as well? This is going to be crazy, guys. Crazy. Like, even, like, down to the T. Uh, even the thing too as well for this is literally the same as the Takara Tomy. This is freaking nuts. Freaking nuts, guys. And look at this too. Hold up. Do you see how Orb Aegis is packaged? Like Takara 
Tomy. My goodness, they are doing things right. And look, we got a sticker sheet too as well. This is crazy, 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 crazy. I'm telling you, please make sure if you see a Pro Series Bay, go and buy it. Support the Pro Series so we get good stuff, guys. Like, this is the only way uh, Hasbro's going to listen. And this is also the instruction seat. We're, we're going to actually uh, go over it just a, in a sec. Let's actually open it. Okay, so it does show... Oh, and I love the detail of the instruction sheet too. This is nice. Look, it actually shows the bay energy layer for this performance tip, twist and turn, yada yada, things you know. How to put the stickers on. Whoa, this is looking nice, guys. I am digging this so far. And it says scan. I don't know if that's an actual scan QR code that you can use. I don't know if it's, it's probably for the bay, actually. Might need to use it for the bay. And look, it even shows you the back. Even shows you how detailed the ripcord is and the stadium that will be coming soon in that pro set. Pro set, the pro set uh one, I am probably gonna pick that one up. Uh just the fact that I think uh the Valkyrie in that pro set does have a dash driver, which is another crazy thing. It has a dash driver, guys. Like, come on, it's gonna be very nuts. But yeah, like this this is so awesome. This is awesome. So let's actually uh take this out really quick. It shouldn't be too long to take it out. It has these little holes that is actually very easy to um take out the base or the parts themselves. Okay, so we got one. Ooh, that actually felt very nice. Alright, we got number two over here. And then we got number three. Just the next quest, right? Ooh, I'm loving another quest. This is gonna be very nice. But yeah, like, look at that, guys. This looks amazing. I'm so happy that Hasbro's doing this. Like, you don't understand. Like, I think the last time that Hasbro tried to redeem himself, um, like, doing things like this was probably in the Hyper Blades era when uh, Metal Fight was a thing. Where they first made the crappier version of like Big Bang Pegasus and the rest of them. And then they said, you know what, let's actually have that switchable, changeable uh, weights with them. And they actually did that. But yeah, this looks crazy. And look at this. This has metal, guys. This has metal. This is freaking awesome. And I think color-wise, like if we put the other one next to it, they look exactly the same. Um, obviously, this is like a darker blue. Uh, translucent blue All right if you guys look at it this is a darker translucent blue and this is one's lighter but i like the lighter one it actually looks very uh nice doesn't hinder a difference uh let me actually take this off okay let's see here so you got these parts here All right like this exactly the same nothing really much different about them take a look at the back Oh, yeah, and this is another thing, too, guys. It has teeth. Look at that. It has teeth right there. Looks pretty, pretty nice. I don't know if, like, there's a different with teeth. Maybe just, like, a tad bit. If you guys look right there. I feel like these are a little bit higher, but I'm not sure if that's a thing. But that's so cool that we finally have teeth with this, guys. That's awesome. And then you have Sting over here right i believe if you pull this yeah if you move it, it bounces back doesn't really feel like it moves so much i don't know if that's supposed to be a thing uh let's see maybe maybe if i get like um ace dragon really quick let me see if i can find ace dragon oh, i see it's all the way in the back so we get ace dragon really quick just to check out the sting uh for you guys try it so we got ace dragon sting i guess it's a, it's a little bit more movable uh for this ace dragon but it's not groundbreaking it's not the it's kind of the same it's really much the same here and then we have the quest driver on the side over here still free spinning has that suction cup action comparing to the suction cup over here the other one Pretty much the same. Nothing really different. Uh, Color-wise, I would say this one's a bit darker. And this one's a bit lighter. As you guys can see. It looks very, very nice. And then if we put the bay together. Let's see how it feels. 
putting it together. Okay. Seems semi loose. You guys can hear the clicking a little bit. Let me see what happens if I actually do the same thing with the Takar Tomi one. Same combo and everything. With the Takar Tomi one, right? Ah, it's, a, it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. Nothing really different. I would say this is. Hmm. I'm really giving like a test to make sure. I want to say the Hasbro one is slightly tighter. It's not groundbreaking tighter, but slightly. I, oh, I didn't think that was going to happen. What happens if I do the same thing with the Hasbro one? Let's see, hold up. Trying to make sure I get like a. Oh, the Hasbro one sort of did it too, but it took a little bit longer. But yeah, that's actually, this is pretty amazing, guys. I am happy for this. So I'm going to put the stickers on really quick. Do like one more uh, comparison, and then we'll actually get to the uh, test launch and test battles. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to give some test runs and test battles in just a sec. But I just wanted to show you Orb and Guard with its stickers on. As you guys can see, it looks exactly like the Takara Tobi one. And we put it side by side out here. Right? There's really not much of a difference. They look exactly the same. The only difference, again, is that this is lighter blue. This is darker blue here. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much the difference. And obviously, Sting. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool overall. Now, another thing I forgot to show you guys uh, about the Sting is that we actually managed to pull a four-star Sting. So that's actually very cool. Very nice to actually have. So we have a four-star Sting, which is awesome. All right. So let's actually do a test run right now. I'm going to just give it one test launch. Three, two, one, go. And as you guys can see, I don't. It's just there in the middle. Oh, now it's in the middle by itself standing. Okay. It's kind of tipping over like it normally does for some odd reason. <laughs> I don't know why Engard or Orb E just does this, where it just tips over from the quest. I guess it's because of the suction driver. Not really the best uh, to do like this. So yeah, pretty much like that. If we show it how uh, the Tsukartomi does, right? The Tsukartomi one. For some reason, it's just staying still like that. Still semi makes the same noise as the Hasbro one, but yeah, pretty much works the same. So let's actually do a test battle between these two. Uh, the Hasbro versus Tsukartomi. So I'll launch the Tsukartomi one first and then the Hasbro one second. So you guys know the difference. All right, three, two, one. Nice, just fall down. <laughs> Again, three, two, one, go. Go. Who's gonna take a Hasbro or the Takara Tobi one? Yep, they're kind of both doing the same thing where they're just tipping over and just staying still. Oh, that's not good for the Takara Tobi one. And the Hasbro takes that one. Okay. I would say because it tipped over. That was the only reason why Hasbro took that one. But let's switch roles. Let's have the Hasbro one go first and then the Takara Tomi second. All right. Three, two, one. Go. Go. Ooh, nice attacks between these two. Who is going to take it? Who is going to be the better uh, or Aegis or Engar here? Ooh, ooh. Ah, okay. Well, it looks like the Takara Tomi one took that round. All right. And they're giving heavy blows because they're like getting one or two clicks in. Okay. Same thing one more time. Takara Tomi first. And now Hasbro. Come on. Are we going to see a burst finish? I want to see a burst finish happen here. Both oh, tipping. Oh, no. <laughs> and it looks like the Hasbro one took that one. Oh, nice. Okay, so they go kind of neck and neck. Now, just for one extra battle, right? We're going to actually have the Takara Tomi or Aegis have Sting 2 as well. So it's going to be just the same combo against each other. So, yep. Let's see who uh, wins this one here. We'll have Hasbro go first since it did win this round. Takara. Oh 
man, this is this is some battle, guys. <laughs> it's all about who can be stable here. This one, so as you can see, the Takara Seven One is tipping over like a lot, and that's why it's losing. Okay, but that's good that the Half Moon is showing promise. That's a good thing. All right, let's do another two battles, uh, with, or Aegis or Engard over here. We're gonna have it, uh, let it go against Chosey Valkyrie or Chosey Achilles and Chosey Valkyrie over here, uh, for you guys. See how it stands. All right, we're gonna do Chosey Achilles first. What how do they go against? If they can get on the launcher, because sometimes it's not doing that. Don't know why. All right, hold on. Well, uh, I can't, first of all, I can't believe that bursted because I didn't even launch Chosey Achilles that hard. Secondly, I don't know what's going on with Chosey Achilles that it does not want me to have it on the launcher for some odd reason. Okay, we'll try it again. There we go. Let's see who's going to be dominant here, Chosey Achilles or Orb Engard over here. I'm gonna say Chosey Achilles because Engar is really tipping off for it. Yep, it's just self KO itself. That's nice. That's pretty much what you want to happen. Self KO. Okay, let me get it on one more time. I see that the burst stoppers actually went on. That's probably what's hindering the launch, actually. Didn't think about that. Okay, one more time. It's not good because Engard is tipping over again. Achilles is moving around Engard. Now contact equals Engard is going to kill himself. And yeah, that's basically what happened. Engard just killed himself. Nice. All right, but pretty strong attacks. Pretty good from these guys. All right, let's try the last one, which is going to be Chosey uh, Valkyrie this time. Okay, let's see on this launcher. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate when my launcher does that. Or the bait does that. That it just doesn't want to get on the launcher properly. Okay, let's try it one more time. I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen, but like the base is like semi tipping off, and I hate when that happens. See, I didn't even I didn't even launch it. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on, please just let me do this. The struggle is real, guys. I'm telling you that much. The struggle. Good Valkyrie that you went out of bounds. Yeah. The struggle is real. Aha. One last battle, and then we're calling it here. Okay. Let's try it. Come on, Valkyrie. Nope. It fall down. See? It wants to do this to me. There you go. Come on. Redeem yourself with a burst. Or just kill or end guard. Nice. All right. We'll do one more because Valkyrie actually did win that one. One last one. This is going to be the last and final one. Final, final one. And then we'll call it. Okay. No, don't fall off. Don't fall off the launcher. Oh, my God. Of course. See, he wants to fall off the launcher. I hate this, guys. I'm really trying my best here. He wants to fall off the launcher every time. Launches. Ooh, all right. Well, I give Valkyrie a pass there because it did burst uh, orb and guard there. Oh my gosh, that was frustrating. But at the end result, at least we got a burst. So that's that. All right. So very cool overall. I gotta say, uh, the way how Hasbro made this orb and guard here is definitely a good sign that they're in the right direction. Like, of course, orb and guard is not the best bay. So don't expect it to be the best pay. I just like it because of the quest driver and the well is designed to as well. But other than that, I think, you know, it's definitely a good thing to actually get this. So if you guys see the Pro Series, I'm telling you right now, go and buy the Pro Series. Do not get a Hyper Spear. Do not get Slingshot if you still find them because apparently I still find them. Uh, Surge. Only get the ones that have the weight chassis, like I'm talking about like the Baby 1A and Baby 1B that I found, right, with Helios and Hyperion, 
as well as the metal uh, drivers, but that's about it. That's all I'm going to do for that. But yeah, support the Pro Series, guys. Again, they are $20, so it's a little bit hefty, but it's kind of worth it, depending on which one you get. So yeah, with that being said, this is Flame Leone 2300 Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Oh, and another thing, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Join my Discord. Uh, the links for that are down below, so you guys can enjoy that too as well. And with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Take it easy, everyone.